Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the Corp Maths practice questions on constructing angles. If you need any extra help on constructing angles, if you go to Corp Maths and go to the videos and worksheet section, videos 68, 69, 17, 71 are videos on constructing angles. Alternatively, you could scan the QR code. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions, so let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says, in the space below, use the ruler and compasses to construct a 60 degree angle, and we must show our construction lines. So with a 60 degree angle, I'm gonna start off by considering an equilateral triangle, because in, with an equilateral triangle, all three angles are the same, they're all 60 degrees. So to construct an equilateral triangle, I would start off by drawing a straight line. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line. And this straight line, I'm gonna draw an eight centimeter line. So that's an eight centimeter line like so. Now that line doesn't have to be eight centimeters, it can be any length at all, but just start off by drawing a straight line. Then get your pair of compasses. So get your compass and pencil and put the point of the compass on the left-hand side of the line like so. And we're gonna set the pencil so that it's eight centimeters, so that it's the same length as the line. Because if we then draw an arc, all of these points are exactly eight centimeters away from this left-hand side of the line. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the point of the compass and we're gonna put it on the other side of the line. And again, we're gonna draw another arc. So again, as you can see, the pencil is set so it's the length of the line, eight centimeters. And then if we do another arc, it'll look like that. Now here, if we look at where those two arcs meet, that point is exactly eight centimeters from the left-hand side and eight centimeters from the right-hand side of that line. So that means if we join up this point here to here and that point to there, that would be an equilateral triangle. Now in this question, we weren't actually asked to construct an equilateral triangle. We're actually asked to construct a 60 degree angle. So let's take our ruler and pencil and let's put it on the left-hand side of the line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna join up the left-hand side of the line to where the two arcs meet, like so. So like that. So that angle there would be a 60 degree angle. So let's mark it in with an arc. So that's a 60 degree angle angle and that's it so we have constructed a 60 degree angle and to check our answer i'm just going to take my protractor and i'm going to put the cross of the protractor on the left hand side of the line the zero along the line we drew first and as you can see it's a 60 degree angle and that's it so we have used our ruler and compasses to construct a 60 degree angle and we use the fact that with an equilateral triangle all the angles are 60 degrees so that is how i would start off by constructing an equilateral triangle if i joined that point to the right hand side of the line then that would have been an equilateral triangle but we only wanted to construct one 60 degree angle so that's our 60 degree angle and that's it Okay, so let's have a look at our next question, question number two. So question number two says, in the space below, use a ruler and compass to construct a 30 degree angle, and we must show our construction lines. So actually, I'm gonna use a similar approach to the one that I used in question one. So I'm gonna construct a 60 degree angle in the same approach as question one, but then I'm gonna do the angle bisector, and that'll split that 60 degree angle into two 30 degree angles. So let's do that. So let's draw a line. So um, I'm gonna construct that 60 degree angle to begin with. So I'm gonna consider the fact that each of the three angles in an equilateral triangle are the same, they're all 60 degrees. So I'm gonna do a straight line. And so again, it doesn't really matter how long the line is, as long as whenever you're setting your compass, you set it to the same length as the line. This I'm gonna do a seven centimeter line. So it's a seven centimeter line there. Now I take our compass and pencil and put the point of the compass on the left-hand side of the line and the pencil on the right-hand side of the line so that the compass is set to the same length as the line. So that's seven centimeters. And now we're gonna draw an arc. So we'll draw an arc like so. And then we're gonna take the point of the compass and put it on the right-hand side of the line. And when we do that, the pencil should touch the left-hand side of the line. Yep, and draw another arc. And where those two arcs cross, that point will be seven centimeters from the left-hand side of the line and seven centimeters from the right-hand side of the line. And when we join this point up to the left-hand side of the line, that'll be a 60 degree angle. So let's do that. So let's take our ruler and pencil and join the left-hand side of the line up to where the two arcs meet. So that's a 60 degree angle. But we wanted to construct a 30 degree angle, so we now need to do the angle bisector. So let's take our compass and pencil and to put the point of the compass on where the two lines meet there. And we're gonna do an arc here on this line and an arc here on this line. And then we're gonna take our compass and we're gonna put the point there. I'm gonna do an arc towards the middle somewhere, like so. And then put the point of the compass on where that arc met the first line and then draw another arc towards the middle. Now, if we join this point up to our angle, then it'll split that 60 degree angle into two 30 degree angles. And then we'll have constructed a 30 degree angle. So let's get our ruler and pencil. 
and there we've constructed our angle bisector. So that means that this angle will be 30 degrees, and this angle will be 30 degrees. And we've been asked to construct a 30 degree angle, so that's a 30 degree angle. And that's it. And we can get our protractor, and we can put the point of the protractor on the left-hand side of the line, and the zero on the line. As you can see, that's a 30 degree angle. So we've constructed a 30 degree angle. That angle's 30 degrees, and also that one's 30 degrees. But in this question, we're asked to use a ruler and compass to construct a 30 degree angle. So what we done was we considered it with an equilateral triangle. All of the three angles are 60 degrees. So we constructed a 60 degree angle. Then we done the angle bisectors to split that 60 degree angle up into two 30 degree angles. So that's a 30 degree angle there, and that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at our next question, question number three. So question number three says, in this space below, use a ruler and compasses to construct a 90 degree angle. Now, whenever we construct a 90 degree angle, there's a few different approaches we can use. But in this video, I'm just gonna focus on one of them. And I'm gonna use the fact that hopefully you've looked at constructions on how to construct a perpendicular bisector. So if you know how to construct a perpendicular bisector, because the line that crosses the original line is perpendicular to it, that means at 90 degrees. So that means we'll construct a 90 degree angle. So let's take our ruler and pencil and let's draw a straight line. And with this line, it doesn't matter how long the line is, so let's just draw a straight line, like so. So that's our straight line. Then we're going to get our compass and our pencil, and we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector for this line. So we're going to set the compass of this over halfway. So, so put the point of the compass on the left-hand side of the line, and the pencil so it's over halfway. And we're going to do an arc below the line and an arc above the line. You could also, actually, if you wanted to, just join and do the whole arc like that. So we've done an arc below and above the line. And then keeping the compass and pencil the same size, and that's very important, put the point of the compass on the right-hand side of the line. And then we're going to do an arc below and above the line again. Now, again, we could just do below the line and above the line, or you could do the whole arc like that. But you'll see that those two arcs intersect at two locations here and here. And if we get our ruler and pencil and join those up, or draw a line through those, it looks something like this. And that line is the perpendicular bisector. It crosses that line that we drew to begin with at 90 degrees and in the middle. But we were asked to construct a 90 degree angle, so that is a 90 degree angle there. So we have constructed a 90 degree angle, and that's the 90 degree angle. And I said we've constructed 90 degree angles, there's a few different approaches you could use. But if I was asked to construct a 90 degree angle, I would just do that and I would just construct it and say, well, that's a red angle, or that one's a red angle, or that one's a red angle there, or that one's a red angle there, and that's it. Okay, let's take our next question, question number four. Okay, so question number four, we've been asked in the space below to construct a 45 degree angle and to show our construction lines. So I'm gonna use the same approach as question three. I'm gonna construct that right 90 degree angle, that right angle by using the perpendicular bisector. And then after I construct the 90 degree angle, I'm gonna then do the angle bisector and cut that 90 degree angle in half. And so that'll be two 45 degree angles. So let's get our ruler and pencil. And we're gonna draw a line because we're gonna construct the perpendicular bisector of this line. So let's just draw a line, a straight line on the page. So there's a straight line. Then we're going to get our compass and we're going to make sure that the point of the compass is on the left hand side of the line, the pencil's over halfway. And we're going to do an arc above the line and an arc below the line. You could draw that one big arc, but I'm just going above and below here. Okay. Then keeping the compass and pencil the same size, put the point of the compass on the right hand side of the line. And again, an arc below the line, like so, and an arc above the line. And you'll see that those arcs cross here and here. And then if we get our ruler and pencil, we can draw a nice straight line through those points, those intersection points, and it looks something like that. And then that would be a 90 degree angle there, or there, or there, or there. Now that's a 90 degree angle. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna construct the angle bisector here. So I'm gonna get my pencil and compass, and I'm gonna put the point of the compass there on the angle, and I'm gonna draw an arc here, and an arc here, making sure the compass and pencil stay the same size there as the here and here. Now where this line and the arc meet, I'm gonna do an arc towards the center somewhere, like so. And again, keeping it the same size, I'm gonna put the point of the compass on where that arc met the line, and again, towards the middle. So constructing that angle bisector for this angle. And then I'm gonna take my ruler and pencil, and I'm gonna put the pencil on the angle, and I'm gonna draw a line going straight through where those two arcs cross each other, like so. And then that means that this angle here would be a 45 degree angle. That's a 45 degree angle. And that's a 45 degree angle there as well. And we can check it. Let's get a protractor and then put the cross of the protractor on the angle and then the line along that bottom line there. And as you can see, that's a 45 degree angle. So we've constructed a 45 degree angle and that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, in the space below, using a ruler and compass, construct a 120 degree angle. So we want to construct a 120 degree angle in this space. And we're to show our construction lines. 
Now, it can be quite useful before you derive this question to actually have a look at constructing a regular hexagon inside of a circle. So, in Corp Maths, there's a hexagon within a circle video, and that construction shows you how to construct a hexagon within a circle. And actually, just to recap it here, here we've got a circle, and what I've done is I've taken, I've drawn a circle to begin with, so I've set the compass to be the radius of the circle, so the distance from the center to the circumference, and I've drawn that circle, and then keeping the pencil and compass the same size, I then marked on a point on the circumference of the circle and I went around and drew one, two, three, four, five, six arcs around the circumference of the circle. And then if we would actually then join up those points from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here, and there to there, that would be a regular hexagon within that circle. And then you can actually divide that regular hexagon into six equilateral triangles. So I'll actually just do that now. So that's a regular hexagon within the circle. And then I'm actually just gonna divide that regular hexagon up into six equilateral triangles. I'm just gonna do that now. And as you can see, we've now got six equilateral triangles. And each of the angles inside of those equilateral triangles are 60 degrees. So if we've got two of the angles, perhaps this one and that one, that'll be 120 degrees. So that's a 120 degree angle. So that's going to be quite useful in our constructing a 120 degree angle. So let's go and construct a 120 degree angle. So to begin with, I'm going to draw a straight line. So I'm going to get my ruler and pencil and I'm going to draw a straight line on the page. So I'm just drawing a straight line there on the page like so. And the length of it's not that important. So that's our straight line. Okay, so we've now got our straight line. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take the compass and pencil and I'm going to set it at a certain distance. Now it doesn't need to be very big because we're just going to draw an arc here on the left hand side here. So we're going to put the point of the compass on the left hand side of the line we've got the pencil on the line and we're going to draw an arc so we're going to draw an arc like so so we're just going to go around around to a bit bigger than what 120 degrees would be so that's 90 and i'm just going to keep going a bit further so about there okay so draw an arc it's nearly 180 degrees not quite but it's obviously bigger than 120 degrees now if we think back to our constructing the regular hexagon within a circle we would then have our this is the radius of the circle if we draw a whole circle that would be the radius and then if we put the point of the compass so we take the point of the compass keep the pencil and the compass the same size put the point of the compass there and then do an arc that'll be like whenever we're doing our arcs on our circle for our regular hexagon so that's one arc so if we joined from here to here up that would be a 60 degree angle in here because that would be an equilateral triangle and then if you put the point of the compass here on where that arc met the circle and then draw another arc like so then if you join from here to here up you'd have 60 and another 60 degrees so that'd be 120 degrees a bit like whenever we have this whenever we've got our one two of them that would be 60 and another 60 which is 120 degrees so let's get our pencil and ruler and join those up and then that angle there would be if we just mark it on 120 degrees so that's a 120 degree angle and we can get our protractor and check it so if we put the cross of the protractor on the center of the angle like so and the zero along the line you can see that is 120 degrees so that's a 120 degree angle and actually if you wanted to you could construct 180 degrees in the same way but that would just be a straight line anyway but you could construct 240 degrees by carrying that on and so on actually that would be 240 degrees there the other side the reflex angle but you could draw a bigger arc going around or a whole circle and you could draw 240 degrees 300 degrees and so on so that's it that's how i'd construct a 120 degree angle Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number six. So question number six says, using a ruler and compass to construct a 135 degree angle, and we're to be asked to show our construction lines. So to construct a 135 degree angle, I'm thinking if we construct a 90 degree angle and a 45 degree angle, 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by constructing the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to get a ruler and pencil, and I'm just going to put my ruler down like so, and I'm going to draw a straight line on the page. So I'm just going to get my ruler and pencil, and I'm going to draw a straight line. And then I'm going to construct the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to put the point of the compass on the left-hand side of the line, put the compass over halfway, and do an arc below the line and an arc above the line, or you could just do one big arc like so. So that's the arc on one side. Keeping the pencil and compass the same size, put the point of the compass on the right hand side of the line now and then we're going to do another arc and it would look something like that 
And as you can see, those two arcs cross here, they intersect here and here. So if we draw a line through those, that will be our perpendicular bisector, the line that crosses this line exactly in half at 90 degrees, because it's perpendicular, it's at 90 degrees. So let's get the ruler and pencil and then draw a nice straight line through those. Okay, so that's our perpendicular bisector. So that would be a 90 degree angle there. And then that's another 90 degree angle. Now, if we do the angular bisector on this 90 degree angle or that one, we can then have a 90 and a 45. So that'll be 135 degrees. So let's do that. So let's construct the angle bisector. So I'm going to construct the angle bisector for this angle here. Okay, this 90 degree angle over here. So I'm going to get my compass and pencil. I'm going to put the point of the compass on the center there. And I'm going to do an arc here and an arc here. And then lifting it up, I'm then going to do an arc towards the center and an arc towards the center from the other one. So I'm going to again swap it over and do another arc towards the center like so. Now you can see here, those two arcs intersect here. If we join up from here to here, then that will be a 45 degree angle. We'd have a 45 degree angle there and a 45 degree angle there. So let's do that. Okay, so we've now bisected that 90 degree angle in half. We've got a 45 degree angle and a 45 degree angle. Now we wanted 135 degrees. So we've got this right angle, that's 90, and we've got a number 45. So 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. So that would be 90 and 45 would be 135 degrees degrees because that's a 90 degree angle and that's a 45 degree angle so that whole angle there would be 135 degrees so we've constructed a 135 degree angle and that's it and that's it so these have been the video solutions to the court maps practice questions on constructing angles i really hope you found this video useful. if you have found it useful please like it and please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you cheers bye